Hi, my name is Corey Buckingham. I'm the trajectory engineer for the L44 mission. There's a few reasons the Delta IV Heavy is the only vehicle that can launch the L44 payload. Primarily, it's the payload fairing. The ULA payload fairing is 65 feet long and five meters in diameter. That's about 16 and a half feet. And it provides sufficient payload volume capacity for the L44 satellite. The performance capability is the combined performance of the first stage and the second stage. As you can clearly see, there are three boosters that provide over two million pounds of thrust to lift the vehicle off the pad. It's going to be a brilliant show. I can't wait to see it. Now talking about the second stage, the DCSS, the Delta Cryogenic Second Stage, is a very capable and highly performing second stage. A big contributor to the second stage performance is the extendable nozzle of the DCSS. We launched the mission with the nozzle in the stowed position and then after booster jettison, the nozzle deployment system extends the nozzle to its full length. This very long nozzle is a huge performance increase because of the increase of, in ISP, specific impulse. ISP is how we measure the efficiency of a rocket engine. It is calculated as thrust divided by the flow rate of the propellants. A great way to think about ISP is related to your car. Uh, your car's engine, the efficiency is measured in miles per gallon. It's, it's a very similar concept with rocket engines, and the high ISP allowed for by the extendable nozzle of the RL-10 allows us to achieve the orbit of the L-44 payload. So if you're looking for someone to blame for the very early launch time, you can blame me. I'm the trajectory engineer, so I'm responsible for publishing the launch period. So how do we calculate the launch period? The time of launch is driven by the RAN, R-A-A-N, right ascension of the ascending node. The RAN is essentially a sun relative angle that the spacecraft requires us to achieve at spacecraft separation. So once we have the trajectory designed, the knob that we have to turn is the launch time. So we set the launch time, to achieve the correct RAN. But then, if you stop there, you have an instantaneous launch period. We want as long a launch period as possible to give us the best chances of launching on any given day. For L44, we have a nearly five hour launch period. So how do we get there? Trajectory design incrementally steps out the trajectory until we reach the window open and window close time. That duration defines the launch period. Now these edge trajectories, they need to steer more and use more performance than the window optimal case in order to achieve the same orbit targets. We load specific guidance and navigation parameters depending on when we launch within the launch period so that robust guidance algorithms can get us to the correct orbit no matter when we launch within the launch period. This is just another factor of how the Delta IV Heavy can support the L44 payload. Personally, I've been working on the L44 mission for almost four years now, so I'm very excited to see all of our hard work come to fruition when it lifts off into the night sky. But more importantly, I'm looking forward to this vital asset to get on orbit and begin supporting the U.S. intelligence community, supporting national security space, and keeping Americans safe.